Now I get to have fun. Our next surfer has really done some amazing things. And we'll get into that. He started surfing when he was nine years old, just barring a loose board here and there, living on one of our famous island breaks here in Florida, Merritt Island. <laughs> he got his first board at 10 years old, and there was no turning back. What really got to him was the individuality and the incredible stoke feeling that it brought. And every session was always different. Jeff Klugel went on to win the second Stubbies event here in Sebastian Inlet, which was a huge event for us here on the East Coast because uh, Stubbies, which had started over a great legacy in um, Australia, had started a series in Southern California and then came to Florida. And Jeff winning that title there was a great way to uh, start a standout and stellar surfing competitive career. He got his first break at Ocean Avenue under the tutelage of the East Coast Hall of Fame member, Greg Lohr, in learning how to surf, uh, shape surfboards. And to this day, he's still shaping and doing a great job of it under his own label, Seven Seas. But what's really outstanding about Jeff is that he took that competitive knowledge and turned it into becoming an ASP WCT judge. Yeah. And it, let me tell you it, how many surfers have been competitive and then let it go. And Jeff turns that into a passion. And I'll tell you what, I've had the, the extreme honor of being on the same scaffolding when Je Je Jeff was the head judge, I was the announcer. But it was literally entertaining to me to watch him work. Truly amazing, Jeff. I was really touched. He's done somewhere around 400 events as a judge. 100 or so. He doesn't know. He doesn't keep track of these things. But I asked him these hard-pressing questions because you people want to know. 100 WCT events. You know, they talk about the dream tour. Jeff gets to go on the dream tour. But I don't think he lives that dream lifestyle. He works his butt off. Jeff is to be honored for the fact that he's done 200 WQS. Now, CT is a great dream tour experience. WCT is a slog for the surfers and a harder slog for the judges. And amongst that, he's done, and he still does, he'll do local events to this day. So ladies and gentlemen, I think it's an extreme honor for me to be up here to, to introduce somebody that's been such an influence on the world tour, but I also got to mention that he met his lovely wife and got married, and she was his yoga instructor. Now let's talk about a dream tour. <laughs> <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Jeff Klugel. Wow, huge honor, huge honor. I can't even believe it myself. Uh, I got so many people to thank, but I wasn't gonna drone on and on trying to think of all of them. So I guess I gotta start with the earliest influences, you know, people who got me in the water. Uh, Greg Mongol was a huge influence to me in my early years, when, as, long as, as well as Sharon Wolf's brother, Barry, he was also very influential. Uh, Greg Lohr, honestly, you know, Mike Tabling, guys like that, I used to just idolize. I'd watch them surf and watch them surf. And it was just an amazing journey for me to sit there and just see these guys and go, wow, this is something to strive for, you know. And then, you know, guys, as I got into manufacturing and such, Greg Lohr taught me how to shape surfboards from beginning to end. He put me to work, you know, and Larry Pope, Larry Pope, who, you can't say enough about that guy. He's amazing. I mean, he's such a craftsman. He's always been there. His factory now is a great thing. He's such a good person and always puts so much into his work. You know, beyond that, you know, ASP, I, I, I owe a lot to a lot of people, you know. Earlier, it started, you know, with the earliest crew I surfed with, you know, Matt Keckley, Charlie Kuhn, Johnny Futch, Rich Rudolph, Pat Mulhern. All these guys were huge influences in my life. 
you know, these guys, you know, we'd surf together, we'd push each other, session in, session out every time. You know, you'd come out of the water and you'd almost hate these guys, you'd surf with them so much. <laughs> You know, they were good friends, and, you know, we're still good friends to this day, and, you know, it's always been a great thing. But these guys helped inspire me, you know, through we sit and watch each other surf heats, and I'm like, you know, we can do this better. You know, not that it wasn't done right. You know, I want to give to, uh, credit to Mike Martin. He, he was an inspiration. He was, you know, he was head judge when I was surfing a lot of contests and hate him sometimes, love him sometimes, you know. And, you know, Mike's been influential and a big help being, you know, North America's tour rep. And he's been, uh, you know, a big right hand to me and a big help through many, many years as well. But, you know, truly who gave me the biggest shot was the late, great Midget Smith. You know, he gave me a shot, you know, judging Bud Pro Tour and PSAA events. And, you know, and it was like, it was hard work. You'd have to set up scaffolding. You'd have to be there two hours before. And, you know, and then the day's done, you'd have to take all this stuff down, too. And then I could never get Ian Karen to pay my airfares back. You know, it was like, come on, well, you guys owe me. You know, and then for years in, years out, I paid my own airfares to go judge these events. But Midget gave me the nod and started me on the world tour in 96. And, you know, those guys put it to me. They wanted to make sure I did my job. So they made me live out of a suitcase you know, for like 33 events, I think, my first year. You're just like literally 11 months out of a bag. You know, it, it can be hard. You know, people think, oh, what a glamorous life. But sometimes you wake up in hotels, you're not exactly sure, you know, what time is it? Where am I? Is it time to get up? You know, the, you know, the, the jet lag is real for some people. For me now, I don't really s suffer too much from it anymore. <laughs> I guess that's part of doing it that many years. You know, it's been a, you know, to do that at that level has been an honor. You know, those guys surf so amazing. And it, it brings me back to a saying of a good friend of mine, my friend Johnny Futch said, you know, and at first I didn't even think of it, but he said, like, surfing, it's a fountain of youth. He says, don't get too far away from it. If you stay close to surfing, you'll never age. And, you know, to a degree, it's, I, I feel fortunate because it kind of holds true. I still feel as young at heart at 52 as I did at 22. And it's been an absolute blessing to be involved for this many years. You know, my boss, Perry Hatchett, who's the head judge of the World Tour, he's been super supportive, and he's, you know, he's backed me up as much as I backed him up. You know, and it's you know, been a great ride. I, I look, you know, I, I could never say, without, without a doubt, I could live any better than I've lived in surfing. Surfing has been a, you know, it's been a beacon of light, for sure. You know, it does, it does keep you young. It keeps you up early. It keeps you, you know, appreciating sunrises and sunsets. And... You know, incredible waves are incredible waves. You know, everybody who's here and surfs, you know, when you get out on a day that's incredible, you just, it's just the most amazing, <clears throat> amazing feeling. And I got to thank my wife, Susan. She's had to put up with this for ever since we've met and been married, me living out of a suitcase, communicating on, commu on computers and by the phone. And she stood by me and, you know, and is super supportive as well. Uh, I want to say thanks again to the East Coast Hall of Fame. You know, what a great honor. My fellow inductees, you know, amazing. I couldn't ask to be with a better group. And, you know, it's great to be honored here in front of everyone and, you know, in a hometown situation. So I don't want to really drone on too much, but like I said, it's been great. Hope you all have a great evening. Thanks a lot. Thank you.